Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah if you're new and today I actually have a little bit of a different type of video for you guys and it's actually how to DIY your own Jimmy Choo dupe shoes. I literally love the way these shoes turned out and I am like beyond happy and I want to share with you guys how I made them for such an affordable price. I wanted them for my bridal shower and obviously I was not about to spend a thousand dollars for the actual Jimmy Choo shoes so I figured I would be able to make them myself and I am just like beyond happy with the way they turned out and they were pretty much under like $40 to make them myself and I literally am obsessed with them and I can't wait to wear them again for my rehearsal dinner. So if you guys are interested in how I made these Jimmy Choo dupe bow heels, make sure you just stick around and keep on watching. So you will need a pair of white heels, preferably something with a large backing like my shoes here. You're also going to need some coarse hair ribbon. Mine is in three inches. And then just a small little ribbon. I got a white, I think, quarter inch ribbon. A pair of scissors, a thread and needle for some sewing. And then also some super glue and if you also have it, fabric glue. So now you're going to take your horse hair ribbon and start making loops. I like to place the loops that I made up against the shoe just to kind of gauge how big my bow is going to be. But I like to start with the horsehair ribbon meeting in the center um, like I did here and then I'm going to lay it down on the table and continue making loops. I made four on each side. I also went ahead and trimmed the end of the bow in the middle of the ribbon. Now you're going to take your needle and put it right up through the middle of your bow and put it through just a few times to make sure it is secure through your bow. And once it is, you are going to start wrapping your thread around the bow like you see me doing here. And then you are going to tighten that thread as much as you possibly can to make that bow cinch really tight in the middle there. So I wrapped the thread around the bow just a few times to make sure it was tight. And then I stuck that needle right through and tied it off as you would a normal knot. With just a little bit of super glue, I secured the bow to the strap of the heel and then took a little bit of ribbon, securing that to the bottom of the strap and wrapping it around the bow. And the first heel is now complete. We're now moving on to the second heel and you're just gonna take a large loop of the horsehair ribbon. And with the same technique as before, you're just going to thread a needle through, tightening a little bow. Kind of wrap the thread around, back through, and knot it off. And now you are going to do the same exact thing again. You could see how I line up my bow to my previous one just to make sure the sizes are the same and then wrap the thread around the bow making it a tight little knot and knotting it off. And then you're going to have two of the same exact bows. I now just quickly tied the two bows together just to make it a little bit easier for me to work with. Now I'm making one more large bow that is similar size to the previous two that we just made with the ends meeting in the middle and then I did the same technique and put that thread up through the middle of the bow and knotted it off. Thank you. 
and this bow is going to be placed right in the middle of the previous two bows that we made and what I did I don't know if I showed it here actually but I went ahead and put another thread and knot through the middle of all three of those bows just to keep them nice and tight where I wanted them now I'm taking my super glue right down the middle of the back of that heel and I'm gonna place a tiny piece of the ribbon just face down like this I had a two-sided ribbon but if you had a one-sided ribbon make sure the good side is being glued to the heel now I'm using fabric glue and just putting some more glue on the back of the heel and on the back of the bow so it will adhere the best to the heel and I just have some pressure on that for a few minutes to hold that in place now I'm placing some more glue on the back side of the bow and I'm going to loop that ribbon right up over the middle of the bow and lastly I just place one more little dot of glue on the inside of the heel where that piece of ribbon is going to be glued to just to make it really clean and nice on the outside and nobody can see where the ribbon was glued so that is where the piece is glued and your heels are now done and that is the completed bow heel dupe I am super happy with the way they turned out they're so affordable and so fun they were the biggest hits at my bridal shower so if you are loving the idea of the bow heel but didn't want to spend the fortune on the Jimmy Choo ones this is a great dupe for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time Bye.